It's been 10 years, but the memory is still vivid in the minds of Amina Alinkeki and Jumai Muta, two victims of the schoolgirls' kidnap in Chibok by Boko Haram members. On that fateful night of April 14, 2014, 276 schoolgirls from Government Girls Secondary School in Kibok, Borono State, were rounded up and abducted. Until this day, more than 80 of them are yet to return. At the special screening of Statues Also Breathe, a documentary film on the production of terracotta images of the girls still remaining in captivity to draw awareness to their plight, Amina and Jumai recount some of the ordeals they had to endure during their time as hostages. And when we are going, we have our hair tie and our shoes, we are be drawing on the road. Maybe we are be thinking that maybe some people will follow us to go where the, exactly where we are moving. So you were leaving markers along yes. the way. Yes. Right? Yeah. Some people come in like our parents and some security agents follow us, but because of their too much more than them and they have many materials of fighting, they can't catch us because of the so you knew people were following. Yes. But they, they didn't have after. the arms or the numbers to be able yeah, to take on the day after around. after we leave the Chibo, it's the next day that our parents follow us back. And it's just only our parents that follow us. And they met with one old man and he told them that you people uh, do you think that you can able to get your children from these people? Since you are only people follow them and you don't have any security following you, if you know what is good for you, you have you better go back to get security so that the people have a guns that can fight this program. If not, you can't copy with them. You have to go back. They beg government to rescue the remaining Chibo girls. But I'm reminding the government that there is still missing Chibo girls that in captivity. And we are still need the effort to release our sisters back so that we, we all share this happiness we are having now. And for their parents too. Because it's so boring when they see us and thinking about their daughters. Boring means head. The documentary follows the project by French sculptor Prunori in collaboration with the Department of Fine and Applied Arts of the Abafemi Awulawa University in Ileife, alongside the families of the Chibok girls. The project consists of 108 life-size images of the missing girls as they hope to continue to raise awareness about the plight of the girls who are still missing while highlighting the global struggle for girl-child education.